good day panel. For my proposal was Kaganan Lifestyle Center, a study promoting ecological innovation through sustainable architecture. Lifestyle Center is a consists of upscale national chain, specialist stores with dining and entertainment in an outdoor setting. Lifestyle Center helps to create a better leisure experience and tourism, which are also factor for this proposal. The proposal has high potential due to the large population of target area. It will also help the tourism industry of Kogonan Nasugpo as a very tourist in looking for enjoyment and some souvenirs. Hence, Lifestyle Center is a good opportunity for town of Kogonan. The main objectives of the project is to provide a commercial establishment within the municipality and help to consistently increase the economic status of Nasugpu, Batangas. To provide lifestyle center with a great space and will provide great leisure experience for the users. To provide a commercial establishment where they can easily buy their basic needs. To provide a eco-friendly commercial establishment that is comfortable for shopping. Nestled in the relaxing town of Kogonan, near Lumbangan and Barangay Poblacion, one of the highest population in Asangpu, Batangas, a first-class municipality with expected population of 161,686 in 2025. A perfect location for lifestyle center which aims to provide leisure experience and entertainment for the community. This can be one of the prime factors that contribute to the phenomenal progress of the town. This study is designed not only to provide employment opportunities but also to contribute in the delivering basic needs and services to the community. Also to enhance the present economic structure and balance the present condition of the city. The municipality of Nasugpo, Batangas had a land area of 278.51 square kilometers or 107.53 square miles with 134,113 total of population but there's no hub shopping center in the municipality. The term modern architecture describes architecture design and build with the social. In sustainable design, I want to give them the comfortable experience while doing their best. Leisure experience and sustainable design will help them. Not only the users will benefit this design but also the environment. The design concept was biomorphic architecture. Biomorphic architecture is the design of the buildings directly influenced by the animal, vegetal, human body, and anatomy anatomical structures with chosen material to create aesthetic harmony. I am proposing a lifestyle center where very retail store gain advantage to earn revenue through the said architectural design. With this, the lifestyle center will grow. The form concept was centipedes. Centipedes are a group of arthropods that are characterized by having two pairs of joint legs of most body segments. Each double-legged segment is a result of two single segments fused together. Like centipedes, I want to show people around the Sugpu Batangas how lifestyle center connect with the environment. While given an accessible and comfortable architectural design, every retail store represents one body part of the centipedes. Helping another retail store to move or get the interest of people using this architectural approach. Centipedes have a hard shell to help them to live inside. With this, Lifestyle Center will be made of durable and resistive features to harsh weather. Special Features Hydroponics Hydroponics will use inside of the structure. It will be helped in growing plants without soil and it will be low cost better than plant box. And I have also a uh, cococrete. Cococrete is a low carbon lime based composite concrete. Consider as one of the biocretes, it helps uh, mitigate environmental damage. For floor plan, basement was space consists of parking slot and utilities like janitorial office, janitorial lounge, 
employees lunch, comfort room for male and female, electrical room, pump room, mechanical room, service elevator, general storage, and also security room and access room. For floor plans, supermarket and department store was located near a residential area. For restaurant, more of them was focused on outdoor dining to fill the ambience of landscape. Ground floor was consist of non-food retails, restaurants, games and entertainment, food court, interactive sports, supermarket, department store. For second floor, the space was department store, food, non-food retail, restaurants, and some utilities. And for elevation and section, For project cost analysis, all computation and prices is based on lecture in design 10 or 17 line project costing and for price for square meter of flat is based from sonal values of BIR. And for cost analysis for ROI based on site value for rent.